Hello guys, welcome to our channel Fun Plus Code. Before getting into today's topic, if you are new to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. If you really like the video, make sure to hit the like button because that will motivate us a lot. And don't forget to click the notification bell, then only you will get instant notifications of our future videos. Without making further delay, let's get into the topic. Today we are going to see about functions in Python. In this video, we are going to see about a real-time example for functions and what is meant by functions. Finally, we are going to write a coding or we can say implementation of functions. Clear? So don't skip the video guys. So first, we are going to see a real-time scenario for functions in Python. Consider admissions in college is a simple example for functions in Python. During college admission, all students along with the parents will go to the college and register the seat, right? At that time, each and every student will give their details to take up the course in the particular college. Actually, they will give, uh, for example, their name, which departments the student is going to take and along with the percentage of marks and even more staff too. But the staff who is taking the student details will feel difficult, right? Because they will take the same set of details for all the students. For that only, we are going to write a very simple function. There is only one set of function, guys. For taking details of each and every individual students, okay, using that functions, that staff can easily take up n number of student details by using only one function. So guys, for this scenario, we're going to write a program and don't skip the video because we're getting into definition of functions and coding part. So guys, first we are going to see what is meant by functions. Basically, function is a block of code which will run only when we call that function. I'll tell you briefly while I'm doing coding guys, okay? Basically function is a block of code, simple, that will execute only when we call the function, clear? Second important point is we have to use the def keyword while we are defining a function. That is second point. Finally, syntax for creating a function. Uh, basically you have to use a def keyword along with the function name. Inside the function definition, we can give any number of lines you want. That is a basic syntax for creating a function, guys. Next, so this is syntax for creating a function. Inside the function uh, name, uh, that, uh, that is uh, inside the parenthesis, you can uh, pass the arguments. I'll tell you um, at the end of this video, what is the difference between a parameters and arguments, okay? So this is basically a function definition, guys. And after that, uh, this def is a keyword, as I said before, and this function name, you can give any name you want, okay? This is your wish, but you have to mention a def keyword before that. Clear? Next one is, uh, I should talk about this function called guys. Because uh, whenever you are creating a function, you can give n number of lines inside the function you want. But after that, you should call that function. Then only it will execute that function. Okay? So here def is a keyword and my function is the name of the function. Here you can give any name uh, of the function you want. After that, inside, uh, inside that, you can give a number of lines. Next, you have to call that function by using that function name with the parenthesis. But you should not give the colon here, okay? Simply, you have to give the function name along with the parenthesis. That is the function called in Python, guys. Next one is, what is the difference between parameters and arguments? I'll tell you uh, while doing coding part, guys. Uh, basically, what is the difference between parameters and arguments? Some of the people uh, are telling that, uh, oh no, parameters and arguments are same. But no, that is wrong. That is the difference between uh, parameters and arguments. Okay guys, that's all about this function definition part. Let's get into a coding part. Today I'm going to use Python ID. Here I've already created a project. Under the project, I've already created a file. Here I'm going to write an example for function. So first, I'm going to create a function definition part, guys, by using a def keyword and admission is the name of my function. Along with the parenthesis, I have to give this colon. After that, you have to give indentation here, okay? You have to uh, give n number of lines into the function along with the indentation, clear? So this is the indentation. This is a four space or one tab, okay? So inside, the, inside this function, I'm going to give uh, simple lines of code as I uh, mentioned in the admission scenario example that is a college admission example for that i'm going to take a uh, three uh, variables that is name register number and department for simple understanding i'm going to uh, take this three um, variables okay name equal to since name is a string i'm going to give input of because input is used to get a string from the user right into this i'm going to give enter your name simple next i'm going to give register number since register number is a integer i'm going to give int of inside this i'm going to give input of 
simply enter your register number clear simple finally i am going to give department equal to since department is a string i am going to give input of inside this i am going to give enter a department so here def is a keyword this admission is the name of my function followed with the parenthesis after that i am giving this uh, colon and this is the indentation part here i have given three lines of code next i am going to simply print this uh, all of this variables that is name register number and department for that i am going to give print inside this i am going to give my name is so after that i am giving this comma that is a separator as you know and after that i am going to give my register number is and i am giving this variable name reg number after that i am going to give my department is finally i am giving this department variable clear so i am done with this uh, function definition but without the function call it won't work guys let's see what will happen yes it won't give you any result guys it will give this empty display only okay why because i have defined this function okay by giving this line this number of lines of code but i didn't call this function right whenever you are calling a function then only the function definition will work so for that i am going to call the function outside this function definition see i have unindented this part clear so here i am going to give this admission that is uh, my function name so i didn't give here any colon or semicolon like that you have to just simply give this name of your function followed by this parenthesis okay now it will work guys yes it is asking for enter your name i am simply giving alex and enter register number i am simply giving 210 after that it is asking for department i am giving csc that is my department finally while i am hitting enter it will display my name is alex my register number is this one my department is says okay this is a little bit messy right for that i am going to give here slash n so here i am going to give slash n then the code will look nice i like this Two ten department is CSC. Yes, next, yeah, it is simply giving. My name is Alex. Register number is two ten. This one. So, whenever you are uh, defining the fu this function, you must call this function. Clear? So you can call this function any number of times you want. Uh, maybe you can write thousand lines of code or five hundred lines of code. Inside that, uh, inside that number of lines of code, you can call this function. how many times you want you can clear maybe 10 times maybe you want this function 20 times so here i'm just uh, simply giving four lines of code you can give n number of lines you want as i said before inside this function and call this function by using simply single line whenever you want you want clear so this is a example for a function without argument guys as i said before there is a difference between parameter and argument i'll tell you what is that now i'm going to simply comment out this part so next i'm going to tell you an example for a function dealing with the parameters and arguments guys for that also i'm going to take a same example that is admission example okay inside this you can give a number of lines but i'm going to give my name is next i'm going to give my register number is next i'm going to give print my department is okay so here this is my function definition guys clear you have to call this function as i said before so i am simply giving this admission along with the parenthesis now we are getting into a parameters and arguments guys inside this parenthesis i am going to give name register number department okay what is mean by this name register number and department here yes we call it as a parameters but basically we call this as a variables right but when we are giving this variables inside this function definition that is inside this uh, function uh, definition parenthesis you call it as a parameters okay so here are the variables and we have to pass the values for this right for that only we have to pass the values inside this function call okay this is the function call right so inside this admission i am going to give a name as john comma Uh, is number as three hundred again. Uh, department is make. Okay, since this is a string, I am giving inside this double quotes. Since this is number is a integer, I am simply giving uh, without uh, double quotes. Clear? So this is a function definition, and this is a function call. So this name, register number, and department is a variable. But when dealing with the function, 
definition when we are giving this inside the function definition we call it as a parameters and this values we are passing inside the function call okay we call it as a arguments so this is the difference between parameters and arguments guys clear i think you got a clear idea about uh, uh, parameters and arguments both are different guys so let's see what will happen i'm going to run this program see this is not displaying anything because i have missed here name i have to give the sub parameters inside this then only it will display that values inside console department okay now we can run the program yes it is displaying a name register number and along with the department so this is a function call inside this function call you can pass any values you want but here i am passing three parameters so you must pass three arguments here if you pass only two arguments it will throw error clear next you can call uh, any you can call this function any number of times you want inside this you can pass a value whatever values you want okay i'm giving simply 200 again i'm giving a csc okay so you can call this uh, function in your code anywhere clear guys let's see here first three and next three so clear guys first we have saw a function without parameters and arguments and after that we have talked about this uh, function uh, along with the parameters and arguments i think you you got a clear idea about this function along with the parameters and arguments guys so that's all about today's video guys if you have any doubts regarding this function in python please let us know in the comment section i will clear those doubts in my next video i'm ending this video here we'll meet in our next video until then bye take care Oh, 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 oh,